After two and a half years under the president's leadership, America is leading in space once again. This president recognizes what the American people have known for more than a half a century. And that is that our security, our prosperity, and our very way of life depend on American leadership and American leadership in space. Now, we acknowledge that low Earth orbit is not our final destination, but rather it is a training ground for the infinite frontier of space. And I can assure you the American people are ready for the next chapter in our nation's history in space. So at the President's direction, we've, we've put an end to decades of budget cuts and decline, and we've renewed America's commitment to human space exploration, vowing to go further into space, farther and faster than ever before. Earlier this year, President Trump made it the policy of this administration to return to the moon by 2024 and ensure that the next man and the first woman on the moon will be American astronauts. And working with our industry leaders, before the year is out, the United States will once again send American astronauts into space on American rockets from American soil. So we're making great progress, but we have new ambitions. In this still new century, America is not only going to return to the moon, but we're going to return there with new objectives. Because unlike a half century ago, this time, our objective will be to establish a permanent presence on the lunar surface. And from there, we will develop the capabilities to journey to the red planet of Mars. As President Trump said in his words, it is America's destiny to be the leader amongst nations on our adventure into the great unknown. And that's why the National Space Council was reconstituted, and that's what brought us here today. And while the tasks before us involve hardship and hazard, sacrifice and perseverance, we know what the men and women of Apollo 11 knew 50 years ago, and that, and that is simply this, that Americans can accomplish anything we set our minds to and America will lead the world back into the vast expanse of space.